I'm a person that is visually impaired and I'm not allowed to drive. So in order for me to get where I need to go, I use public transportation. Standing out there in the weather, waiting on the bus, it's hard, it's hard. If you miss that bus, <laughs> that 45 minute wait, it's a long wait. It usually takes about an hour for me to get from here to my job, and it's three buses. It would take a little longer to get back home because at some point, I, even if I make the, the, the 215, I may not be able to connect to the 318. And usually that's like a 30 minute wait. And then once I get out to Walmart, it depends on if the 471 has passed, and if so, then I have to wait the 45 minutes for the next 471. And that's when you call and ask somebody to meet you at Walmart. <laughs> I think the biggest challenge would be those connection times because if you miss a bus or if that bus is running a little late and you miss the next bus so there's a 45 minute wait for the next bus to come for you to transfer. I call Tulsa Transit Call Center and I tell them what time I need to be somewhere and they help me line those buses up so the wait time is not so bad. But it's sometimes they just don't work out <laughs> but they're working on it they're working on it being able to have more frequent service and run more frequent service is a big challenge that we have that would make a huge improvement to our system we're providing the best possible service we could within our budget constraints. I hate for the answer to always go back to funding, but a lot of times it comes back to money. Um, we're going from the flag stops to the designated stops, which is going to help with efficiency and dependability. Um, and then we did a complete restructure of our routes. These new routes give you better options to move around within the city without having to go downtown to connect to that other bus. So this is all kind of coming this year and it's all set to kind of go in at the same time so I'm kind of excited because to me I feel like it's almost like here's your new system. That's a whole lot of change all at once, all in one year, all at one time, but it's all positive. I personally am excited because it makes me feel good to know that we're getting better. I want to be better. I know they can't make all the buses like that, but... I go to public libraries, I go downtown, I, I came here to the mall, I get shopping, I go to Walmart. I mean, everywhere I go, I go with the bus. Uh, I like uh, to, come, uh, to go with bus, uh, you know, to see people and talk to them and to ride the bus. It's interesting. But, you know, the bus is a, li a little expensive, I think, for me, because, you know, I make low income. Because I ride the bus all the time. So, I mean, it's too much every time I pay, you know. So, I mean, when it's a nice day, uh, yeah, bus is, bus is good. When what, it rains or snow or something, you know, you can't. It's kind of slow, but it gets me there. Once I got to the office, my co-worker was there, so I decided to hitch a ride back home instead of catching the buses because it just a few minutes, uh, about 10 minutes at the most, depends on traffic, to get me back home from the office than to spend an hour to an hour and a half on the bus. You have to do what you have to do in order to get around. I'm just hopeful that it improves.